Back in the kitchen with Jessica Ivy. Um, she is here cooking something good for us today mm -hmm. for Cinco de Mayo, which is coming up tomorrow. That's right. So I love Cinco de Mayo because I love Mexican food. <laughs> what about you? I do too. I do too. Yeah, but I don't always want to spend a ton of time in the kitchen, especially on a Friday evening. Yeah, usually I would go out for Mexican food, but this we could make at home. Right. So that's what I love about this. In less than 10 minutes, you can have turnkey restaurant style dishes that you would find in your favorite Mexican restaurant okay. in the comfort of your own kitchen okay. with these newly launched Herdez refrigerated ready to serve entrees. So they've got a chicken shredded in mild chipotle sauce and the carnitas slow cooker pork. Mm -hmm. So today I partnered with Herdez to show you how to make some carnitas tacos. Okay, well let's do it. So you certainly could make it from scratch at home, but this is just an easier way to go about yes, it. Yes, so easy. Less than okay. 10 minutes. I've got the carnitas slow cooker pork in my skillet here, mm -hmm. and you can do it as is. It's super flavorful. It's marinated in garlic and citrus. and It does have a lot of aroma. Yes. Now I added some chipotle peppers just to add another layer of flavor. Okay. And I'm going to make a jicama slaw to go on top. Okay, let's talk about jicama. I love it, but mm -hmm. I think it was one of our chefs many years ago who introduced it to us. I didn't know what jicama was either. Yeah, so if you're unfamiliar, this is what it looks like. It's a root vegetable, and I would describe it kind of as a not a sweet apple or pear. You think? That, uh, pear, that's how I would, yeah. Okay, so it's also a high in fiber and an excellent source of vitamin C, mm -hmm. so that's great. And I have just shredded up two cups of the jicama. You're gonna have to peel that thick skin off with So the you're pear. almost kind of making a slaw out of it? Yes, okay. yes, we're making a slaw. So I've got the jicama and some carrot, Okay. and then some finely chopped onion. All right. And then for the dressing, super easy. I'm just doing two tablespoons of canola oil, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, and a tablespoon of taco seasoning. Okay. Mix that up. And if you don't have taco seasoning, you can make your own. Okay. And we'll just pour that over the So just the regular stall. taco seasoning? Yes, just out of the okay. little envelope in the Mexican aisle. Okay. Okay, we'll give this a nice toss. And what I love about the jicama is that it's gonna be the perfect, like, crunchy contrast to the tender carnitas on our Yeah, tacos. and it's gonna have that little sweet, like you mentioned, like a pear. Mm -hmm. So it's really, the contrast is gonna be pretty cool. Yes. So, All right, now do you need to serve this right away though? Um, so I would, I would, if you're um, not gonna serve it right away, I would do kind of julienne in the jicama so it's a little bit bigger pieces. Okay, so, so that it doesn't get soggy? Right, right. Okay. And then I'm adding in some fresh cilantro. Mm -hmm. And it was supposed to be two tablespoons, but if you're like me, a little more extra cilantro is never a bad thing. <laughs> I do love cilantro as well. All right, yes. you ready to switch sides here? Sure. All right, All right so, so you're going to show us how to put together. That's right. So I've got some soft taco sized flour tortillas. Okay. And then I'm just going to add. Now, some... do you warm those? or? You... Uh, yes. Okay. So I just would warm them in a dry skillet for mm -hmm. a couple minutes or probably 30 seconds on okay. each side or so. And then I'm adding some of the Herdez Carnitas, the slow cooked. I like pork. the little holder you got it in. I, I, I don't have one of those. I need one of those. It makes it easier it to really eat does. a taco without it being a mess. Yeah. Okay, so we'll add our Herdez slow cooked pork. Okay. You can just smell all those spices. Yes, it, it does smell good. And then we're going to add some of the jicama slaw. Okay. And that's, like I said, going to be a nice crunch on top. Yeah. And then whatever taco toppings you like or game here, mm -hmm. I've got some salsa. I've got some crumbled cotija cheese, which is just like a hard aged Mexican cheese mm -hmm. that crumbles up real nicely. It does. It, it, it's really different than like a regular cheese you might use for a salad or something like right, that. Right, right. It almost like you, sometimes you find it near the Parmesan in the deli section is mm -hmm. where I found That's it. That's right. Because it's a hard cheese. Mm -hmm. So add a little bit of that. Okay. And then I like a little guacamole because who doesn't? Okay. And then I've got a little bit of Mexican crema too, mm -hmm. which is kind of like a thinned down sour cream. It's like sour cream, right. Yeah, so you can add a little drizzle of that, whatever you really or like. Or you could do tacos. these all different, not add all of everything at one time, right? Exactly. Whatever exactly. you like. Do, build, uh, build your own taco bar. And the great thing about these Herdez refrigerated entrees is that they're so easy. In 10 minutes, you could make tacos, burritos, nachos, enchiladas, whatever you like. Let's make it easy. Restaurant. And then we'll add the green onions. And look how colorful, too. I just love all the layers of flavor. Yeah, it's a and lot. Texture. Now, do you like to, um, have you ever tried, I know you've got um, avocado here, mm -hmm. but for doing the guacamole, do you ever buy the pre jarred ones? Are those okay? Yeah, you so, like those? So I did that today just for the ease here. Mm -hmm. And there are some that I like when I'm um, kind of using it as a topping. Mm -hmm. Now, if I'm just going to eat guacamole and chips, I kind of want the freshness of yeah. the homemade with the yeah. fresh avocado. Right. But that, that's okay. if you're in a hurry, that's certainly yeah, an and, option. And just look at the sodium. Choose one that has less sodium. All right. That's good advice. They look fantastic. Uh, Jessica Ivy in the Good Day Kitchen today. We'll have this complete recipe uh, online for you. We'll post it on our Facebook pages as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. We'll be right back.